Today Chris and I are going to show you a cool way to learn songs off of YouTube while keeping both of your hands on the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Guillaume. And my name is Chris. Welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses. Or today, is it? Yeah, well, or is today it? we are sitting somewhere else. This yeah. is still in our studio, but it's another studio within the studio, Inception. Our space has been stolen from us, but worry not. Hey. We will fight and take it back. Oh yes, we are not giving up. And we have something um, rather funky. And something new. Uh, yeah, definitely on the, on the bucket list for things that I never thought I'd touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we all know the, uh, the moment when you want to learn a song, a riff on YouTube or whichever video portal and you hate letting your pick go or whichever left or right-handed you are and touch that mouse and click back and try to, I don't know, just Find stick to one right little spot. spot. To exactly. And... It's really annoying, especially if you also want to change the tempo, like you want to learn something and want to slow it down, etc. So that's already something that is massively annoying me, and I'm pretty mm. sure I'm not alone with that. And also when you're recording, like a, a demo uh, in your home studio, yeah. whatever you are recording, you always have to stand up, go back to the computer, Press do the go, thing, stop, re-record, because you probably didn't nail it on the first run, which is also normal. And that's also annoying. Never happens to me. <laughs> He's Mr. First Take. <laughs> and uh, so there is a solution for these things and for some more. And that is our subject for today's video, which yes. is the Vidami Blue Vidami. Three in one Vida Vidami. I feel like <laughs> Vidami Blue. Vidami. <laughs> However, you choose to pronounce it, this little device is a, as far as I understand it, he read the manual this time, I didn't. So you're in my seat. <laughs> I am you. <laughs> I am uh, you. Uh, this device is a wireless remote controller that you can sort of assign to different functions yes. in your door or your YouTube. Or more. Yes. Or more. It's a three-in-one video controller, a foot switch, basically, that has three main features. Uh, without further ado, let's start with like the first one, which is a relatively basic one, but it's definitely useful uh, for everyone who uses sheet music. Yeah. Any session player, any classical player, anyone like jazz players having like the notes there or like the, the basics, like uh, you know the real book in front of you. Uh, this lets you swap the pages, scroll the pages, go back and forth, whatever. So it has that functionality, uh, which is very nice and obviously like a, a like a, a, a tier one for foot switches, for yeah, example. Yeah, 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 mandatory, that had Absolutely. to be in it. And the second feature is what we are gonna show you right now, which is controlling YouTube. <sighs> power, Finally. I can feel the, the power. Not only YouTube. Uh, th this is up just for the sake of the camera. It is switchable with the foot. However, because it is right there, I will do it with my fingers. Do you wanna control? I wanna YouTube. control, I can control the YouTube. I will play remote Chris over there. Yes. Right now. And when you, when oh, you find a spot that you really wanna learn, you can loop that in, which is this button. You press, press it, that's gonna be your loop starting point. Okay. And when you feel like, oh, that's, that's the end of what I wanna learn, you press it again, that's gonna be your loop ending point and it starts to repeat just that section immediately. That is incredible. It okay, is. Okay, let me try. Okay. First time I actually used that productively. That's true. However, I still don't have his skills in <laughs> jazz, so I'm not going to even try to, but it worked. I pressed loop once, loop twice, and now it's looping. It's automatically looping, and if you feel like, oh, that's way too fast, you can slow it down. You have all the um, 
pre-given options of YouTube, which is like the normal standard tempo, 75%, 50%, 30, whatever, five, okay. probably 20%, and then it toggles back to normal. And you can also jump five seconds back with the back switch or forward with the forward switch, or if you press it long, it jumps back to the beginning of the video or uh, further back. So it, it really controls everything that you want, and it, it's not only for YouTube. We're only talking about YouTube because we're those people. <laughs> we like using it a lot, but there are, of course, other video uh, platforms, and it, it works with, uh, as far as I can tell, with all of them, or at least with all the major ones. Yeah, okay. So now if I wanted to play the same loop that I have, but slower, yeah, I can just, just play. So it if works. you do want to learn to play like Chris, <laughs> get one of those. Unfortunately, this is the only video on YouTube that works with this. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, for obvious copyright reasons, we chose one of our videos, and this was the first one popping up. Popping up so sorry, G. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but uh, it works it obviously works on more platforms, and uh, whatever it is you're learning or just want to enjoy in half time, mm -hmm. <laughs> just loop it in and uh, do your thing. Uh, without letting your guitar go, which is a really nice feature. There's uh, one thing what I wanted to mention before we move on to its other really uh, cool thing feature, that it does, function. feature, functionality, is that it's not MIDI. It's not like a Bluetooth mm -hmm. MIDI uh, unit, yeah. which is something I thought it will be, which would mean that you have to deal with all the... Addressing exactly. inside the door and me select, okay, this Selecting control Selecting the channel, the MIDI channels yeah. and programs, and like you have to understand a bit, at least, um, of MIDI. It, it's not that, it's, it's Bluetooth, yeah. but it, it jumps up like your ear, air buds or mm -hmm. your uh, earbuds, I mean, or your um, keyboard, your mouse. It's like literally just a Bluetooth unit. Yeah, yeah. okay. And uh, it gets recognized immediately by your computer or your tablet, mm -hmm. obviously works with tablets as well. And then you have different layouts, like different uh, programs on the, uh, on the Vidami Blue or Vidami Blue, depending on the, uh, the operational system. So whether it's a Mac or Windows and the type of DAW that you're about to control with it, which is gonna be exactly what we're gonna be doing right now, um, or whichever software, like the page turny thingy for, for your that sheet one. music, all of those things. It has like preset um, like, uh, foot switch yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, functionalities. Like and, okay. yeah, exactly. But how was the setup on it? Because you did that on the... Like you literally just have to... Pair it? Yeah, hold uh, certain buttons and push something else yeah. to enter Studio One mode or Logic mode or Ableton Live mode or YouTube mode, like right. video mode, whatever you want. There are certain things to it, like uh, mm -hmm. uh, combinations, foot switch combinations you have to hold and tap and whatever. It's really simple. You write it down, then you can always toggle back and forth between its, uh, its modes, depending on what you want to do with it. Or just leave That's it in awesome. the one that you want to use it for. If you're just learning songs on YouTube or whatever mm -hmm. video platform, just stick to that mode and just forget about it. Just turn it on, it pairs with your computer or your tablet, and just use it to learn your stuff. It's really cool. Then the other thing is when it controls your DAW, which is gone. Where's my DAW? Come back to me. Never. There's DAW. Never. <laughs> the uh, digital audio workstation yes. functionality. Uh, as told, it works with all the main ones, mm -hmm. like uh, whatever you want to uh, use, you will see it, whether it's Cubase or yeah. <clears throat> all the big ones. We are using Studio One. There's a, the, and sorry, but if we are sort of glazing over some information, mostly like in the amount of softwares that this is going to be compatible with, go check out the link in the description. That'll take you to the product page. You'll find the manual, you'll find everything you need then, and see if that works in your very specific configuration. Uh, let's let's uh, control the DAW. Let's, yes. let's listen to something and let's record. You're gonna be playing. <laughs> okay. So in the Studio One mode, you have uh, play and pause or stop. Yeah. Record. Okay. Then you can uh, activate the, um, the metronome. Okay. This one. And you can jump forward or backwards uh, like a few seconds on the, on the grid. Okay. Yeah. So if you push this, you jump. To the front, ah. you jump back, nice. you can turn on or off the metronome. 
I want it. I want it off because that way people won't realize that I never play on the one. <laughs> and if you're ready to record, just push this and go for it. Wait, what's the track? Is it one of yours? Uh, yeah, it's the. I think it's the A, B, and then uh, C sharp minor. C sharp minor. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. If you want to go and listen to the whole thing, yeah. you go back until the beginning, or press it long, and then it jumps like a big, <gasps> big amount, and there you go. I like that. I like that very much. Okay. Nice, right? So press long, go back. Yeah. And so now, if I, like beginning. for example, if I just want to override that, I can just, just yeah, go for it. It overrides the old recording. But that's, yep. a, that's a, a studio one thing. It depends on your DAW. You will have multiple recordings on top of each other or just the old one gets deleted. Studio one does yeah, it this yeah, way. Yeah, because so. Logic does separate tracks, yeah. for example. Like yeah. I'm not used to Studio One either. Yeah. So. You, you have to loop it in and yeah. then it doesn't override it. It will make several recordings or several recordings. But if you just feel like, ah, that was nothing, just don't loop yeah. it. Just literally re-record it and your old one is gone and your, your latest best one is going to be saved. This is awesome. I like that very much. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it does. It's, it's compact too, and uh, you can charge it, I guess, with the uh, USB uh, right there. Yeah. And, Is it uh, USB and you're good to go. Yeah, it's a, a micro uh, USB, I think. Micro. The, the, the small one, one. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's. I mean, honestly, that's super useful. It's uh, if like it's probably targeted towards like people using like those resources to learn the instrument and whatnot. Page Turner, obviously there are some staples in that sort of field as well, but what I'm thinking and what I'm seeing with that is mostly just like any content creator yeah. that has a backdrop or like you have a set yeah. and your laptop is here or there and you want to do several takes of playing your thing and whatnot. Like, that's that's Hi. that's pretty sick. That's I know what you're it's talking like, about. That's the only reason why my laptop is behind me when I do my videos. Oh, at really, home. it's behind you. It's behind me so that <laughs> I can just go like. Boop, boop. Yeah, this is like um, that's really cool. the way I see it is this is cool because it does all three things. You can use it as your page turner mm -hmm. for your gigs where you you know take your tablet and use it for notes. Uh, you can use it for learning songs on whichever video uh, platform, and also to record yourself without standing up and going there or having like a, an additional keyboard and mouse somewhere yeah. further away from your computer just to be able to you know push those buttons. It's really convenient and it does all of that in a very compact enclosure. That's yeah. I think it's cool. Um, that's where it shines really. Yeah. There was yet another not a tube screamer video, <laughs> uh, something that we definitely did know about, and I just yeah, it's really useful. I can see many different purposes for it. So let us know in the comments how you would use it while you're down there. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be nice because the tube screamers will be back. Oh, oh Very, like, I can hear them probably, already. Probably next week there'll be a new tube screamer. So you hear yeah. the mid hump? You don't want to miss it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like it's, it's just right. It comes through the door already. All the mid humps. That's how you come out the mix, man. That's, uh, <laughs> That's true, though. <laughs> you guys take it easy. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.